Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you are thinking about or currently in a connection with at this time. We're gonna look at how they are thinking about you, what are their feelings towards you, how do they view you or this connection, and what are their intentions towards you towards the future. And also we'll wrap it up with what they wish they could tell you that maybe they haven't told you, what message, you know, would they have for you if they could speak to you or if they could be honest with you so let's jump right in wow starting off already strong spirits angels guides what guidance messages do you have for gemini in love what can they expect in love oh my god what is happening what can they expect in love for gemini okay so we got time out Time is of the essence, difficult decision, and burdened heart. Gemini, these could be your energies or the person that you are thinking about or dealing with their energies could also show up here. What else do we need to know for Gemini? What else do we need to know for Gemini? What can they expect in love spirit? What can Gemini expect in love? Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment. Okay, I'm getting someone's keeping tabs on you. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I feel like someone's keeping tabs on you or trying to um, learn about you, maybe through social media. You could be talking to someone new as well, attracting in some some new uh, interest, a new interest, a new love interest. But there's something else that's kind of in your mind here burdened heart difficult decision and time out so hmm. maybe you've been carrying a burden for a long time when it comes to love this could be energetically maybe you are um needing to make a, a difficult decision and you're just feeling very burdened about it all yin yang okay i'm gonna look at the book for that one number 22 A yin cycle most of the action seems to be happening under the surface this is a time of great receptivity intuition and gestation external circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity it's an especially good time for completion so wrap things up yin cycles often call you to be passive yielding and reflective so open up to these sides of your nature yeah there's something you're going to be thinking about processing dealing with that deals with love. I want to get one more. Can I get one more for Gemini? What can they expect in love? What can they expect in love? What's this? The garden and the gate. Love it. So the garden and the gate is an energy about kind of um, needing to put yourself out there. Get out there. Um, this is somebody that's looking out at the uh, past the gate and deciding whether they want to go through it or not. Um, I feel like some of you, you're, you're nearing the end of a cycle when it comes to love, relationships. This could be a uh, past attachment that could need to be released here, or it could be a situation where there's a new cycle in love happening. We'll see when we look at the tarot. Spirits, angels, guides. Can we get some insight, please? Oh, that does not go there. Can we get some insight, please, for Gemini? Regarding love, what can Gemini expect in love? Let's see what we get, Gemini. We have the Nine of Swords reverse, Four of Coin reverse, King of Wands, Five of Coin reverse, Ten of Coin, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely, yeah, there you are, Gemini, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. With the Eight of Cups, there's definitely some sort of a cycle that is ending for you. Uh, you could be making some sort of move in your life, like in a career or moving locations. I feel like there's um, success coming your way. Possibly this is finances. Your finances are looking good or you're very stable right now. You could be meeting someone who's very stable. Um, I feel like you're meeting a king of wands. This king of wands is making me think of this attraction card. 
um, a, a fire sign perhaps, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're just very attracted to this person or vice versa. They're very attracted to you. Nine of Swords reversed. So something's no longer plaguing you. That's what I heard, plaguing. Um, like maybe you were dealing with something very difficult mentally. Uh, this could be depression for some of you. Um, for others of you, this could be anxiety, stress in your life. I feel like you're overcoming this, but it's possibly because of this fourth coin reverse, letting go of something. There's something that I feel is a burden for you, Gemini. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is energetic. This is emotional burden. Um, it's not like you are. I feel like this is something that you've also been carrying for a long time. But with the five of coin reverse, nine of swords reverse, and the eight of cups, you know, I'm seeing a transition of someone that's re recovering. You're recovering in some way here. And it's possibly because you're walking through a new door. So let's get some insight here. What's this four of coin reverse? I'm not going to clarify every single card, but the ones that I feel we need a little bit more clarity on. What's this four of coin reverse about? The four of coin reverse is typically a card about opening up, letting go. Yeah, the fool. So I feel like you're letting go of something old for something new. You're, you're making a trade. It's almost what I'm seeing here. There's some, for some of you, I feel there's someone new walking into your life. And it's almost like spirit is telling you to be receptive, to receive this, to be open to this, um, to walk through this gate. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? No, I got two. The Magician and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like, wow, and then the Chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. Yeah, I feel like you have possibly manifested uh, something while you were going through this difficult journey. Um, I, it's, I feel like a lot of you just wanted something new or wanted something to change. And this could be regarding love. I have a feeling for a lot of you this is love. But it's requiring you to move forward, which I don't know. I, we, we, I kind of got the same how much reading was that i got um similar energies for i think it was the 2022 yearly outlook reading which should be the one right before this one um i feel like there's something new happening in your life but it's requiring something to be let go or is requiring you to to think about a situation or a person differently um but this is what's going to allow you to manifest. Tell me about this King of Wands. Some of you could be meeting somebody that owns a business, has a business. Some of you, it's a, it's a business outside. Like they do work outside. That's only for some of you, obviously. But I feel like this King of Wands or this Ten of Pentacles, I'm getting someone that is very well off and possibly because they have a business or own a business the chariot okay so king of wands we got the chariot again cancer energy yeah this is someone coming in this is someone coming in gemini tell me about the king of wands king of swords coming to talk coming to be open with you uh, this could be somebody you're talking to getting to know each other is here so you could be meeting somebody new um dating um, I feel like this is what's coming in this King of Wands. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Why, why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. This is you. Something is being resolved. Something is being uh, balanced out with temperance. There is harmony. This could take some time, this transition that you're in. This could be inviting love in, the lovers. And look, there's death behind that. Scorpio energy. What's behind this? Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're getting something in return for this ending tell me more we have justice the empress and the high priestess holy crap look at this energy what's this this one fell too but oh my god 
the Emperor. <laughs> Justice, the Empress. I feel like this is your divine counterpart here with the Emperor. You might be leading your person. This person might be coming back into your life or coming into your life. I feel like this is going to be fair to you, balanced, justice, Libra energy. And then the High Priestess tells me it's like you kind of knew deep down or this isn't, uh, uh, your intuition is going to guide you to this. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Wow, King of Cups, yes. And the sun at the bottom of the deck, yeah, Gemini. This is for a Gemini who's ready to drop a burden, who's ready to make that difficult decision to move forward. Oh my gosh, they're doing um, landscaping, so I hope you can't hear it because he's like right by my window because of course he is. He is right by my window when I'm doing a reading. <laughs> okay, so he's gone. Yeah, this King of Swords, King of Cups, I feel like someone's going to come into your life, um, maybe unexpectedly, because you're walking away from something in order to have this. Yeah, Ace of Swords, I feel like this is, um, you're going to have clarity about where you want to be, where you want to go when it comes to love relationships, or maybe you're just in a transition in your life, and as you're making this move, love comes in. You, you, you It's like you, it's like you're this garden at the gate energy it's like the gate opens because you have to leave something but then you meet someone on the way <laughs> that's kind of what i'm picturing here so let's look at what we need to know about this other person coming in i feel like they're going to be this king of cups someone very caring someone very loving spirit tell me about this person that Gemini is, has, or will be meeting. Who will they be dealing with? Who will Gemini be dealing with, Spirit? High Priestess. Who will Gemini be dealing with? So the message I'm getting right away is you don't know that this, you don't know this person, or you don't know they're coming. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this other person? Two of coin. Mm. what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know about this person one more please justice okay i feel like spirit is telling me not to it's almost like they're telling me you don't need to know <laughs> they don't want me to know either but we're, we're going to clarify and see what else i can get you with justice and the two of coin i'm, I'm picturing a, a seesaw a balance a scale she's blindfolded justice justice is blindfolded and we have the high priestess so very um and this guy's wearing a mask this two of coin in this in this deck high priestess her eyes are closed so i'm getting this energy of you not knowing that this is happening knight of wands at the bottom of the deck just in case you're curious what's down there um so i find I, i'm fascinated because it's almost like spirit is saying that you don't need to know who this is or you don't need to know when they're coming um, almost like mind your business is, <laughs> but why? Tell me about the high priestess. Tell me about the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Oh my God. There's the scale again, six of pentacles. It's almost like spirit wants you to focus on the balance, the rebalancing, the, the harmony or the, the even, Oh, this could be somebody that comes in that, that evens you out balances you out or um meets you at halfway let's see can i get one more for the high priestess what do we need to know ace of cups yeah this is somebody coming in this is this is new love this is some this is love coming in but there's something about justice that's important here it's not just love it's the right love that kind of energy right can I get one more? I'm just curious. Can I get one more spirit? One more for Gemini. What do we need to know for Gemini? Yeah, Ten of Wands. So it's almost like uh, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like this is this is coming because of it's all connected. <laughs> this is all connected. This is a situation where 
Um, and this could even be karma. Like, I don't know. I'm getting this energy of um, a give and take. But it's a give and take spiritually. It's not a give and take between two people, if that makes sense. And I'm getting a lot of messages, but I don't know how to put them into words. So bear with me. I feel like I'm literally picturing someone. It's, it's like they drop this burden, Ten of Wands. They drop this burden. And as they drop this burden, someone's there to pick them up. That's, that's kind of what I'm picturing. But how do you put that into words, right? It's a spiritual exchange. Spirit is, I feel, rewarding you without you knowing it. Maybe intuitively you've done a lot of work. Maybe you've done some inner work. Maybe you've done some self-reflection. Maybe you've had some sort of personal awakening in your life in the last couple months. Maybe you're just ready for something new. And you know that in order to step into something new, you have to let something go. This is going to be something different for everyone watching. So, you know, sometimes I get comments like, but what am I supposed to... You, you need to be the one that figures that out because you're all different. Some of you could be dealing with addiction. Some of you could be dealing with depression, negative thoughts, negative toxic ways of handling uh, problems. Some of you may be dealing with an old attachment that you just can't seem to let go of or an idea of who you are meant to be with. Maybe that's not for you and so you need to let that go. Uh, maybe you need to let go of toxic friends, toxic family members, toxic environments. I mean, it's, it could be anything. But I feel like you're being rewarded yeah, look at this, the devil right after that. And there's the four of pentacles. So it's almost like you've been stuck somewhere. And are getting healing now with the star. But it it has to be an exchange. And if this is related to this person coming in, because I'm asking spirit, what do we need to know about this person coming in? And they're telling me almost like that doesn't matter. <laughs> What matters is that this is right for you. What matters is that this is your reward. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Can I get some more insight into this other person? Can I get some more insight? Oh, the dolphin. I love the dolphin. Dolphin's very healing energy as well. Um, the dolphin kind of comes in and changes your life. They're very sensitive, healing energies. Um, again, very spiritual energy I'm picking up as well. I'm also picturing the Wheel of Fortune here for some reason. Maybe the background of this dolphin. What else do we need to know about this other person? What else do we need to know about this other person? Pisces, ruled by Neptune. This is the moon. Once again, uh, the moon. It's like you don't know this or you don't know them. They could be a Pisces. They could have Pisces in their chart. The High Priestess is also the moon. And Aquarius um, is the star. So it could be an Aquarius or a Pisces have those energies in their chart. But this is also the moon and the star. So it's almost like there's a healing happening here. A wish, a desire that you may have had. Um, a renewal that's happening. But it's happening almost like secretively. It's almost like this is happening behind the scenes for you. Um, happy at the bottom of the deck. This is such strange energy, but I kind of love it at the same time. <laughs> all right, where is all of this headed? What do you need to know about where all of this is headed? I'm going to put the cards down. Spirit, tell me, um, where is all of this headed in the near future for Gemini? Page of coin. Yeah, this is definitely somebody new. <laughs> this is definitely something new. Tell me more. This is could be somebody that asks you out ask for to get drinks or coffee somewhere or just maybe it could even be a friend and it turns into something else page of wands reverse what else where's all of this headed what this is telling me is that it's not going to be quick uh, this could be developing over time developing slowly starting off small and the nine of coin reverse with the empress at the bottom of the deck and the five of cups reverse okay so um interesting these two are opposites, the Empress and the Nine of Coin reverse. So it's almost like um, someone's not there yet. Or there could be an attachment. This person, this Nine of Coin is not free. They're not independent. You could be dealing with someone that's not uh, ready for something serious right away. 
for whatever reason, or you might not be ready for this person. Maybe you have some sort of attachment or um, I want to get one more or some sort of a situation where you're not free or independent or uh, not uh, feeling. Oh, this could be insecurity as well. Um, even though this is someone that could have the potential to be an empress. Can I get one more? The fool. Okay. Yeah, this is something completely new. I feel like um, what I'm getting here is almost an energy of hesitation. Like someone's not sure. This person could come in and maybe they're not who you were thinking of. Or maybe it's not who you thought you were going to be with. Or maybe it's not the person you were waiting for. And so there's hesitation. It's going to require some sort of risk, it seems like. What's this? What's this about? Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope that it resonated for you. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here and want to see more readings from me. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.